So the very first thing that we're going to do is to open our portrait in Photoshop. There's two ways of doing this. I can go right here to the icon, open, or I can go to file, open, but it's the same thing. So I'm going to use the uh, interactive UI right here. I'm going to click on open and it's going to take me to our poster and I'm going to bring in our original file. You select it, click on open. Here's our original file. And what we have to do, we have to convert this into an eight and a half by 11. Anything to do with the canvas or the image size, we're gonna go to the image menu and I'm gonna go to image size. And notice that it's gonna give you some interesting dimensions. It's gonna say that this file right here is 37.111 inches by 48.028. Now, when you take a photograph with a, a digital camera, your image is gonna come in the resolution right here at the bottom of 72 pixels per inch. But what it means is that in each square inch of your image, you're going to have 72 pixels by 72 pixels. Now, we don't want to switch this to 8.5 by 11 and not change our resolution. That's going to give us an image that is really, really tiny. So what you want to do under your width, you want to type in 8.5. And notice that our image has adjusted. The resolution, it's very low. And as you can see right here on the top, we're going from 26 megabytes, which was a lot of really good information, down to 1.39 megabytes. So we're gonna lose a lot of information. All you have to do to recover all this information right here is that instead of 72 pixels per inch, you are going to type in right here, 300. And notice that we're gonna go from 26.4 megabytes down to 24. It's a small loss, but your image is gonna be eight and a half by 11 at 300 pixels per inch. You're going to hit OK and notice that there's almost no change. Next is we are going to convert this from a color image to a black and white image. So if we go to our layers right here on the right hand side, you're going to create what's called a layer adjustment. The layer adjustment button is this black and white circle right here at the very bottom. If you move your mouse on top of any icons in Photoshop and you wait two seconds, it'll tell you what it is. So it's telling us that this button right here is the create new fill or adjustment layer. We're going to go right here and we're going to go to black and white. It's going to put our adjustment layer right on top of our image. So if I turn the visibility on and off on this adjustment layers, we can see that our color image is still in the background. The next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to create another adjustment layer, but in this case, we're going to go towards the bottom under Posterize. Posterize is going to make a poster of our image, depending on how many levels you have at the bottom. So again, this right here at the bottom is the properties for this adjustment layer. If I click on the black and white adjustment layer, this will be the properties for the black and white adjustment layer. So click on the gray part of your adjustment layer to select it. And what we want to do is we want to understand what levels do. If I bring my levels down to two, notice that my image is black and white. I only have two levels, black and white. So if I move my levels up to nine, you will notice that we go from pure black to pure white in nine steps. So depending on how many steps you want to create, so let's, for example, go up to 14, you're going to get this banding or also known as a posterization of your image. Next, what we want to do is we want to save this image and be able to print it. So what we need to do is we need to flatten our image. That means that we're going to take all these adjustment layers and flatten it with our color. And to do that, you can go to layers menu, and then at the very bottom, you have a flattened image. And what we're going to do next is we're going to save a copy. So we're going to go to file and I'm going to go to save as and we are going to select for our format a JPEG. And this time I'm going to call my image Posterize Crop 02 and instead of Original, Final. And I'm going to make sure that it goes to the right folder. Save it as a copy. This is very important because if not, your original color image will now look like it's posterized and it's going to be in black and white. So I'm going to click on Save as a copy. I'm going to hit Save. It's going to give me these uh, JPEG options. For best quality, select baseline standard and move your slider to a large file. Hit OK. And it's going to save a copy of this file right here. If you want to recover your original color image, you have to find the history palette and go to the very beginning. 
under open and there's your original image. If you do not see the history palette, go to your windows and this is where all the palettes can be found. So we can see that the history palette is checked. That means that it is available. If you don't see the one that you want, click on it and it will appear on the top. And this is how we posterize a color image 